Dear students, let us discuss uh, classification of echinodermates up to class level. There are uh, two subphyla of phylum echinodermates. Number one, palmetozoa. Number two, eutherozoa. Uh, palmetozoa has one class, crinoidea. Eutherozoa has class holotheroidea, class echinoidea, third asteroidea, fourth ophiuroidea, fifth ophiocystoidea. A class echinoidea is having three subclasses Bothrio sideroida, irregularia, and regularia. Asteroidea has Somasteroidia, Eusisteroidia. Uh, the first subphylum, Palmetozoa. Palmetozoa means a Greek word, palmetos means stalk, zoas means animals. So they are the animals which have a stalk because the body is attached either by oral surface or by an aboral stalk with the substratum. You can look at this. It looks like F as if it's a plant having the stalk through which it is attached with the substrate. Uh, they are mostly extinct. Only one class, Crinoidea, is living class. Crinoidea is a Greek word, means lily. Idios means form because they are having the form of the lily. <coughs> they are commonly called as sea lilies or feather stars. Body strongly pentamerous and oral surface directed upward. Mouth, oral surface means the surface bearing mouth. Mouth and anus both are present on the oral surface. So the larva is dolularia. The antidon is shown over here. And other two examples are rhizocrinus, metacrinus. Subphylum. Eleutherozoa. Eleutherozo, Eleutheros means free. Zoas means animal because they are the free animals. They will move from one place to other. They are mostly living in the subphylum. The class is Holotheroidea. Holotherian means water polyp. It does mean form because they resemble with the water polyp. Body bilaterally symmetrical. Usually elongated, you can see uh, they, are, they are having oral surface at one axis and aboral surface on the other axis. So they elongate along the oral aboral axis. They don't have any arms, but they have the spines on the body. Axes are separate, commonly called C. cucumber, holotheria. The C. cucumber is shown over here. Other example as Musotheria, Dima, Cocomeria, Synapta, etc. Then the third class is Echinoidea. Echinos means hedgehog, Edos means form, because they resemble with the mammal hedgehog, body is spherical, disc like, oval or heart shaped, without arms, sex is separate. Commonly called sea urchins or dollars, they are free. They have the free swimming echinopleutus larva. Class Echinoidea uh, has three subclasses: Bothrio, Sideroidea, Irregularia, and Regularia. The Bothrio Sideroidea is extinct one. The chewing organ, Aristotle lantern organ, is absent in these. Irregularia uh, has mouth and anus displaced from the center. That is why the name is irregularia. Normally, the mouth or anus are present at the center, but they don't have the uh, mouth and anus at the center. So, uh, they are named irregularia. Example is Lipester. Lipester is shown over there. Other examples are 
echinocardium, Slovenia, etc. Then the regularia has the living forms, a lantern is present there, the formosa is shown over here, spirosoma, sideris, echinus are the other examples. Class Asteroidia, the fourth class Asteroidia. Asteroidia means ester, Cedas means form because they are star like appearance, body is flattened, pentagonal or star shaped, that means having five arms uh, with mouth which are not sharply marked off from the central disc, but their arms are not sharply marked off. They are not. Uh, they cannot be seen well as we have seen earlier. Sexes are separate, commonly called starfish or sea star, by pinaria or bronchial, bronchial, bronchialaria larva are present in their, in their life cycle. Then the, this asteroidia has the example like astropectin shown over here. So, archester, asterius, echinaster. Hymnester, Solester are other examples. It has two subclasses. Subclass Somasteroidia, they are the fossil stars. Uh, Palestirius, Altiradiata is the only living species. So, why they are called fossil star? Because uh, rest all their relatives were present uh, at the ancient time, and only this animal is now living which represent the earlier form, so they can be called the, the fossil star. Subclass Eusystroidia have the living stars, etc. Then the class fifth, Ophiuroidia. Ophios means serpent and Eudas means form because they are having the serpent-like appearance. Body is flattened with a pentamerous or rounded central disc. You can see this is the rounded central disc with arms. Arm are very sharply marked off from the central disc. You can see every arm is well separated. Whereas in previous form, they were not well marked. One arm and the other arm were not uh, separated at the central disc level. Sex is separate, commonly called brittle star. Brittle larva is the example. Ophioderma I have shown over here. Other example are Ophiothrix. Asterophyton, Astoparpora, etc. Thanks. This is all about the classification of the phylum Echinodermata.